Hey, Roman, you freaking out? No. Yes, you are. <laughs> Can somebody just walk me through what we're supposed to be doing? Justin, you didn't think it could get any better, huh? Here we go. Back in 2001, the action classic The Fast and Furious was released. It became a worldwide hit, so naturally a sequel followed. Well, six to be precise, as the latest Furious 7 has just hit cinemas. Once again, Vin Diesel and his crew performed the craziest stunts in the fast-paced flick. But the production wasn't all fun and games, as actor Paul Walker passed away in a tragic car accident. I, I couldn't do anything but get on a plane and go right to to his mother's house. And it took, you know, months of mourning and and the production shut down, but when we came back together, we knew that we had to finish this in his honor. It was definitely a, a di one of the worst days of my, uh, probably the worst day of my life. It was the hardest thing I've ever been through, for sure. So you would never associate Paul with death. There are no words really to sort of say how you feel when you hear something like that. The plot for Furious 7 focuses on the vengeful brother of the villain from Part 6, so to play the role of this bad guy they needed one of the best action heroes on the planet. And as his little brother was British, there's really only one contender, Jason Statham. He, of course, is definitely no stranger to action scenes or high-speed car chases. In Transporter 2, we had a Lamborghini uh, Murcielago, and it was uh, a prototype at the time, it was the Roadster. Uh, and they closed a huge section of this uh, built-up area, uh, and I mean, it must have been a doobat, a Tum 55 or something like that. Dominic Toretto, you don't know me. You're about to. Looks like the sons of London have followed us home. Remember Owen Shaw? This is his big bad brother. We'll be in hunting. One last ride. The only star who comes close to Statham's level of coolness is Dwayne Johnson. He's also used to heavy action and nice cars. This is also true in real life, as the first car he ever bought was a story all its own. 